If you've ever tried to tell a story using AI image generators, the first image drops, and it's stunning. You think, this is the start of my masterpiece, and then you generate the next frame. Suddenly, your main character has a different face, different lighting, and even different visual style. Like here, you can see the new image sequence is totally different from the starting one. This is due to character drift, lighting mismatch, and stylistic inconsistency. This is where Higgsfield popcorn comes in. You could lock in a character, lock in the lighting, and generate a complete cinematic storyboard in one go. They're calling it the Nano Banana Killer and positioning it as Sora 2, but with full control. It introduces a revolutionary multi-image pipeline designed for intelligent scene continuity. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. All right, here we are inside the Higgsfield popcorn interface. The core innovation is that popcorn is designed to think in sequences, not just single images. Higgsfield popcorn offers two distinct creation modes, each tailored to different creative needs and workflows. The first major difference is the input flexibility. Popcorn lets you upload up to four input references. This is huge. It means you can define a character in one image, a specific object like a product in another, the environment in a third, and maybe a lighting reference in the fourth. Popcorn intelligently merges them while maintaining consistency. If you switch to manual, you can prompt each individual keyframe. This gives you granular control over the action in every single shot. This is what they mean by directorial control. But for speed, or if you want the AI to generate a narrative arc, you use auto. Here you provide one master prompt for the entire sequence. Finally, you decide how many images you want, anywhere from one up to eight outputs in a single run. And crucially, you can select your aspect ratio, whether you're storyboarding for a cinematic widescreen film or creating content for vertical platforms. It's an incredibly powerful setup. Let's see the auto mode in action. I have this simple image of a subject and I will give it as a reference image and ask it to generate a sequence as per my prompt. At the same time, let's remove the reference image and generate to see what AI itself comes up with. As you can see in this top row, the AI did a great job of capturing the overall mood and key story elements. Now look at the second sequence I generated using the exact same prompt, but with a single reference photo of our main character. The character is perfectly consistent in every single shot which is essential for telling a coherent story. Now that we have our initial sequence, let's bring it to life. One of the most powerful features of the Higgsfield ecosystem is the ability to seamlessly turn your static storyboard frames into a dynamic video. You have all the video models here which can help you to animate these images and create a full story. To do this, we'll animate the transition between two of our frames. I'm going to select our first shot as the start frame and our second shot, the close-up with the map, as the end frame. This tells the AI to generate the motion that connects these two key moments. Next, we need to choose a video model that supports this feature. Higgsfield gives you access to several powerful options. For this, I'm going to use Kling 2.1, which is excellent for this kind of controlled animation. It's also worth noting that you could select other models like WAN 2.5 or Google VO 3.1, which even have the capability to generate sound for your video. Okay, I've submitted the task. This will take a few moments to process. So, while that video generates in the background, let's jump back to our storyboard and look at building out our narrative even further. As a director, I feel we're missing something crucial, an establishing shot. I want a wide, dramatic shot that shows our explorer's scale against the vast, misty forest he's in. This is where Popcorn's deep editing control comes into play. You can select any frame from your sequence and import it directly into manual mode. Now, let's start directing. My first prompt is a wide-angle top view of this person. The result is technically correct. It's a top-down view, and the character is perfectly consistent. But this isn't the shot I have in my head. It feels too close, like a security camera, not a cinematic sweeping view. So I'll refine my direction. Let's add the keyword aerial to the prompt. This tells the AI I want more distance, more height and the result is much better. The camera perspective is now higher, giving it that drone shot feel. But in the process, we've lost our environment. This is the final step in crafting the perfect frame. I'll bring back the location from our original story. The final prompt is a wide angle aerial top view of this person standing in a misty forest. And there it is. This is the shot. It's a powerful establishing shot that sets the mood, 
shows the character's isolation and maintains perfect continuity with the rest of our storyboard. This iterative process is what it means to think like a director. Our video has finished generating. Let's take a look at the result. The AI took our first and second frames and seamlessly animated the transition between them. The camera pushes in from that wide atmospheric shot to the tight close-up, all while maintaining perfect character consistency and the cinematic Dune style we established. The implications of this technology are huge, and it goes beyond just generating cool sci-fi scenes. For filmmakers and animators, you can establish complex moods, like this film noir example, or experiment with wildly different aesthetics, like this Ghibli style. The tool locks in the style and the character across the entire sequence. For marketers and brands, this might be the most practical application. It's the combination of multi-input control and continuity that sets this apart. For the first time in the AI image generation space, it feels like the tools are catching up with the demands of professional storytelling. The key takeaway is control. While tools like Sora 2 might generate a video clip from a prompt, you have limited ability to edit specific parts. Higgsfield Popcorn lets you build the story shot by shot, ensuring every detail matches your vision. I've dropped links to this tool in the description below. Let me know what you think of Popcorn and what kind of stories you plan to create with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.